What Work To Be Well did was partner with the Ewers Brothers to break hiding in plain sight down into 10 to 12 minute chapters. And each chapter then builds around a set of curriculum, be it depression or crisis or difficult topics like assault and, and you know, even things like self-harm. So it really is an opportunity to partner those stories with actual educational curriculum in a new way, in a different way. So we took the language they're already using and took narratives and stories from real young people that are very relatable to talk about mental health, to talk about what's going on when somebody has depression, what's going on when somebody feels suicidal, how do you deal with a friend who may be suicidal. All of these things are addressed in the curriculum through the stories of the young people who are in it. So we take that and have partnered with educators from around the country to develop this curriculum that is based in social and emotional learning concepts and is really structured so it could be given in a variety of different formats. So the curriculum is structured in a way that it can be given in a 20 minute increment, a 50 minute increment, or even a 70 minute increment, depending on the class size, depending on the, on the style that the teacher is using or what they may need for that group of students. If you have a group of students who perhaps have a substitute that day, this is a really easy curriculum to pick up and just implement. It's not something that a teacher has to go in and delve into and study to really understand how to give it because everything is scripted if you want it to be scripted. Everything is very simple, laid out. All the PowerPoints are done. All the other work is done. It's pretty much plug and play. For me personally, mental health is my passion and, and youth mental health really speaks to my soul. Uh, I have two kids. They've had their own mental health challenges and these resources weren't available when they were in high school. And right now we live in a society where for some school districts, they have the money and they can bring in external, you know, folks who talk about mental health and it's really great. Other districts don't have anything. So there's no equity and no ability for free clinically vetted materials to be out there that any school in the country, regardless of whether or not they have the resources to buy it, can use it. One of the most important things about Work To Be Well that's always been important to me personally is that it's free. It's accessible, it's free, anybody can use it, whether you're a school, a club, an athletic team, a youth group, you name it, it's there. Please use this because this is gonna speak to somebody and I firmly believe this curriculum saves lives. I hope that the youth who view this curriculum see themselves. I hope they find hope. I hope they see that you can recover that you can go to the absolute depths of despair and you can come out okay and you can be resilient. And I really hope that it inspires young people to go into mental health as a profession. I mean, it takes people who are passionate and willing to engage in mental health conversations to be willing to go on and be that next generation and, and maybe do it better than I did.